welcome back to RimWorld. I've got to admit, I think this base looks kind of nice. I was kind of looking at it again, and I was like, yeah, yeah, this is a pretty good design. Bear in mind, we can expand it quite a significant way into this area as well. It's kind of one of the areas that's swamp-free and relatively flat ground, too. We wouldn't have to do much clearing out of crap. So this would be a pretty nice area to expand the lab into. There's a lot to do, though. So first things first, I think the power is in an okay place. But it could be better. We've got three water mill generators, which is generally quite good, obviously. Um, we're quite well defended with them as well, at the sense we're at the bottom of the map. We only really have to worry about enemies coming in via this area. So these are, uh, you know, that's the kind of downside to water mill generators, as we've seen from the past. These are, these are susceptible to damage. Quite high cost to build in terms of raw resource and just the amount. You know, it's shit tons of wood, which is, which is easy to source, but very, you know, time consuming to get. But for now, they're quite well defended. So their only downside is kind of mitigated by the by the defense there. I would like to tap into this water mill. Uh, this water mill. This uh, geothermal generator. We've already tapped into the water mill, genius. That's what I just spent five minutes talking about. So I think what I'm going to do is wait until we've researched advanced geothermal power to see whether or not the geothermal power is, is, is worth building over the regular geothermal power because we haven't got many resources, right? Now... One of you, very clever and just and kind people, last episode pointed out, why don't I just build a quarry? We've got plenty of quarryable resources. This is the area where the lab's going to go, but for now, we haven't got the resources to build the lab, so why don't I just build a quarry in advance? And I agree, that is a great idea. So we're going to put one here, um, for now. It, it's not a, a great position, we are missing out on a very small quarryable area there. But, it's right next to the stockpile zone, right? Oh, we also had a toxic fog, which between me, um... Uninstalling and dragging the furniture over here has gone away, but it, it, it's only gone away in, in a few seconds because the uh, toxic buildup on, say, the pig is still quite moderate. The, the pig, the boar, is still quite moderate there. So we've still got that to consider for a while, but it is gone now, so I don't have to actively worry about it. Now, I also want to work on uh, growing some more bamboo as well, just for the last bits of furniture, that type of thing. So if we go bamboo plant, we'll go um, floors. And let's till all the soil as well, just to speed this up a little bit. Uh, the other thing I've gone ahead and done is unforbidden the very outer layer of the kill box, so that we can at least build a kill box. We won't be able to get this sort of really complicated structure up there, and oh my god, all the animals died of toxic build-up on the map. Look at that. Ugh, gross. Uh, are you actually, yeah, extreme. Wow. Everything is dead. Well, let's hope we don't run out of uh, food in, in a hurry. Speaking of which, we haven't really got a huge amount of food. 91 meals and 82 raw food. Shit. Okay, well, uh, that could be a problem, obviously, if we run out of food, because there are no animals. We might have to slaughter the pigs, or at least, uh, you know, we might just be able to wait for them to respawn. They should respawn relatively quickly. Um, just keep an eye out on that. Agricultural trader, right, this could be good. Now, the downside to what we've got going on right now is we're very close to being able to do a lot of things, but we don't really have enough raw resources. So, raw resources is sort of the major issue. So, until we get this quarry up on its feet, we're going to be sort of limited in what we can do. One of the things that we are very close to being able to do, but actually can't, is making a cloning vat. 325 steel, 225 plastil, uh, sorry, silver, 75 plastil. Well, funnily enough, we've got all of these things in our immediate... Oh, that's aluminium. I thought it was silver. We've got two of these things in our immediate vicinity there. We've got steel. We've got plastil. Silver is very easy to get. We'll just sell some, you know, corn to the agricultural trader, for example. Now, the one thing that is going to be difficult to get is the advanced components. We've got three of them. Or, or we need three of them, and we've got two of them somewhere. Yeah, we've got two of them. It's a massive pain in the ass because we'd be able to clone Igor at that point who could really get this colony up on its feet. Just notice my trade beacon isn't actually hooked up to power either, so let's go ahead and sort that out. Right. Otherwise, we're in a pretty good scenario. Look, they're already starting work on the kill box already. That's incredible to see. That's really nice to see, actually. What I might do is go ahead and swamp all this area up. So that we can build a roof over it like we did with the last kill box. So they're going to be slower moving through it. Besides that, what else do I need to do? I think in terms of defenses, that's going to be really, really good. I don't think we need to worry about raids at that stage. Um, turrets also wouldn't go amiss. We didn't get any turrets last series. But that's only because we have very, very powerful weapons. Which we probably won't be seeing this series. Because I think I've disabled them. But I've messed around with the model. So I've got to double check that they're still disabled at some stage. But obviously that's not going to be relevant for a very long time anyway. Oh shit. Now, somebody left a message, last com uh, comment, I should say, last video, saying, when are you going to rescue Mason, uh, which is Donitz's brother? He's just messaged us. Mason is being held at a camp nearby under armed guard. Of course we're going to go and rescue him. Of course we are. The last rescue went really well. Despite all odds, I survived it. And you know what? They're actually even closer than the last time. Right down the main road, slightly north. Like, you got to remember when we went to save what's-his-name, it was like, what was it, like up here or up here somewhere? This is a lot easier. So... It'd be a shame not to do this. Two turrets, one mortar, two enemies. 
I saw the best tip on the RimWorld subreddit earlier. If you want to get around an enemy's power grid, rather than doing what I did, which was disable the batteries, shoot them out, somebody said just connect a sunlamp to it, because sunlamps use so much power that their power grid won't be able to keep up with the demand for it. The AI's power grids just don't spawn that complex. So... What do we need for a sunlamp? It's like a few components, right? We could just take those ingredients with us and build a sunlamp on their grid and sap all the power, which I think is so, so smart. Like, shout out to whoever did that. That's genius. Uh, production? No, production. Wait. That is... Oh, it's furniture, right? It counts as furniture for some reason. You know what I consider furniture? Oh, it's just 40 steel. Holy shit. That's really, really cheap. Okay. Let's test this out then. Why not? I want to test out the strategy. It could also be very, very good if you want to play... Really difficult level RimWorld, but during the early game, if you want to go out raiding, that type of thing, that's that's pretty cool. Okay, what have we got there? We've got Peace Talks with the Red Stork Col Sabana. Okay. Despite that, there's absolutely nothing else. It, it's just that. Oh, what, what is this one? Oh, that's the landing ship? Holy shit. That seems really, really close. I think we got very, very lucky with that. I, I suppose, to be fair, we started in the middle of a fairly small continent, so... That's our ticket off of this rock, and to be honest, it's really not that far. Like, let's just put this into perspective. Form caravan, choose route. Oh, hang on, we got to pick some people, sure. Who are we going to take on our adventure? Because I might as well prepare the caravan for saving the other dude as well. Obviously, we're going to take, I think, Nick, Sardini, and Donitz. We'll leave Dave, Elsip, and, or Elkip, sorry. And quite logically, Elkip, I have to uh, rename as well. There was a name change requested, so I'm going to I'm gonna do that. Bobby B, we can't ride on. Neither can we with Frank Butcher, although if we train them up, they can be mountable animals. Right. Let's go choose route. How far is it to the to the trade ship? Really? 13.5 days. Wow. You know what? We could win. Not that I'm going to just take the ship and leave. That I think that's such a dumb reason to play RimWorld is to quickly speedrun. I mean, it, speedruns are fine. But to quickly speedrun a very easy scenario like this seems like it would have no challenge anyway. It seems a bit pointless. Right. Okay. Uh, what about... No, 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 no. Clear route. Clear route. Clear route. How do I... Oh, you have to go and remove the waypoint. You can't just reset everything. Right. Remove this waypoint. Okay. To get to uh, the rescue point, it's 0 0.4 days. So they could get there and back in less than a day if we're quick. That's, that's cool. Right. Add a new waypoint. Yeah. 0 0.7 days. That's incredible. Right. Choose the route. Everyone's ready. We need to take some meals with us. Uh, pemmican. We've got plenty of pemmican. Take some pemmican. I'd rather than to... Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. Oh, yeah, no. That is the pemmican. I thought it was five meals then. Take the pemmican. Um, do we have any survival meals? Apparently not. Then we want to take... Um, days of food, 2.5. That's already way too much. Plus, there's apparently 8.8 .8 forage per day. That's insane. Okay. Uh, and we just want to take... What is it? 40 steel to build a sun lamp? I'm going to take 50 because I don't remember if it's 40 or 50. Except... Your caravan only has 2.5 days worth of food and we become hungry quickly. I wish we didn't get this message if we're only going to be away for 0 0.7 days. It doesn't make much sense to me. Right. Let's go on another rescue mission. I mean, the first one went so well. How could I not? Plus, we've got boys left behind this time who can actually carry on as they are, building up the base. Um, with our herbalist. Uh, our herbalist is also... not is not only our grower, I should say, but it's also our builder. Right. Okay. Um, what that means is... They won't... Well, they should be working on this first, though, surely. Because these are designated growing zones. Maybe it's too cold. Yeah, I think it's... Too, yeah, growing season... No, the growing season here now. I don't know why they're building the walls, then, rather than working on that. Very strange. Anyway, that, that's fine by me, either way. So, they'll finish that, and then they'll hopefully build up the farms as well. They, we could probably get the farms finished before everyone gets back. What can Dave do? Uh, visit a grave. Ca classic Dave grave there. Um, what is your job, Dave? Your job is building understandable and then growing which i'm fine with and no drugs no drugs for dave um quite largely left behind who is a good doctor too so i'm kind of happy about this mission i think this is going to go quite well and you know what you can grow if you can't do anything else i don't think they can plant out all mine right now so that's absolutely fine all right we'll leave them to it i feel like the base is in safe hands you know it was in it, it was it went pretty well considering we left it completely unattended last time we just burned down a couple of walls so the caravan has arrived we have a big downside in that they have uh, thanks to the many mods that we have installed. They have a frigging steel automatic cluster mortar, which is like a regular mortar, except it can cover this entire map, and it fires about eight volleys at once. So, hang on. Wait, it's a solar flare. Shit. Uh, well, that worked out incredibly well, because otherwise this thing... Okay, I was going to go on a ramp, but actually I've just realised we're fine. This thing would shred us in no time at all. These things are incredibly overpowered. They... The grid is not set up to support it, don't get me wrong. So so at night time, this thing would definitely turn off. But it, it fires eight volleys of regular mortar shots. 
automatically without needing to be manned. This thing is ridiculous. I think if we're quick and strike with the with the ferocity of a uh, a crow stealing a toad's liver, I think we could hit these batteries and completely have it unpowered before the solar flare comes back on. We don't have to worry about mole. Um, who else is there? It's just mole. Oh my god. Well. I've, I've honestly never seen these at Prisma bases before, and I think it's ridiculous that it told us it was a mortar rather than a steel automatic cluster mortar, which is just a turret that's extremely overpowered. Right, let's move in quickly before this fucking solar flare gets turned off. Good lord. I'm so annoyed by that. Right, okay. Uh, do we want to focus on the battery before we do anything else, or do we want to kill the people here? Um, attack the battery. Get it gone. Get rid of it. Nice. Okay, well, that shut that down. Um, good. It's not connected to power anymore, which is fine. Yeah, okay, we are good in that case. Let's take him out quickly, and maybe we'll be able to get rid of the other turret before the solar flare ends. Okay, just lure him over the swamp. Lure him over the swamp. You can shoot him before he even gets close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, I don't want to lose anyone. We're good. Okay, and we got some survival meals, so whatever food they took on the way here has obviously been uh, nicely... Can we take this with us? Claim. We can uninstall it and take it with us. My god, that's broken, because these things are so powerful. Can we uninstall the... We can uninstall the turrets as well. Huh. Remember at the start of the episode when I said we, we didn't need turrets last series? Well, we're getting turrets this series for free, apparently. Um, can we just claim this turret as well? Well, that's so good. Okay, sweet. Uh, claim it all, and we'll uninstall everything we can. We'll obviously take the, uh, the steel with us as well. If we dismantle all these sandbags... Man, I even said last episode we didn't have enough, uh, enough batteries for the colony as well. This has solved all of our problems, thank you. And more importantly, sorry, more importantly, we got Mason back, the saviour of the colony. Well, not really the saviour, I mean, I mean, he turned up to help for a bit before got, getting kidnapped by himself. Right, um, let's go ahead, claim all. Okay, so, what do we want to do here? I don't want to do this. I'm, I'm, do we want to stay behind and get it all... Yeah, let's, let's uninstall them. Can we uninstall the solar panels? We can't, can we? can... Let's just dismantle them. Solar generator? Is that what they're called now? Can't say I've ever noticed that. Right, uninstall everything. Claim everything. Um, get these lamps as well. Why not? We might as well take these lamps just to... Even if we just take them home and decommission them, it doesn't matter too much. Uninstall that. Let's decommission all of these sandbags. Let's decommission all of these wires as well. That's going to give us a load of resources. This was definitely worth it. And you go and free your prisoner. Oh, look at this. Brother, it's me. Your other brother. Welcome. Um, Migo Matter Bedroll. Somebody made a bedroll out of, um, bear in mind, Amigo Matter is the, the, the sort of, uh, the Kaisen from Amigo Monster. One of those, the, one of those Cult of Cthulhu creatures that are just horrific to look at. Okay, fair enough, why wouldn't there be? Okay, reform the caravan, let's leave. Oh, you know what, we want to grab the stuff first, don't we? Uh, do you guys want to get to work? No, they're just going to sleep it off. Why are they doing that? Oh, because it's past 5pm, okay. Um, work all the time, always, thank you. Copy, paste, paste, paste. Let's wake him up. Get to work. There we go. All right. Let's get this place torn apart. Take what we can with us. We're going to bring some turrets on, which is nice. Still automatic turret. Ridiculously broken. So I'm really glad we've got one of those. Hopefully we can get it set up and you guys can see what it's like on this map. Because it's uh, back at our home base. Because it's unbelievable. Right. We're good. Let's go uh, world. And let's get out of here. That was, that was a good rescue. That was just basically free resources, right? Um, let's go reform caravan. Obviously bring everyone. Let's take home with us. Steal many turrets. Oh, man, the mortar is so fucking heavy. We can't take anything else with us. Ah! Ah! Uh, right. Okay. Oh, my God. It's also worth 7,100. Jesus. What I'm going to do then is, because I want to take all the components, and the components don't really weigh much. Let's go back into it. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go, let's go back into it. Let's decommission, as in completely dismantle, um, the standing lamps. Wait, no, I don't want to... Wait, okay, dismantle everything. Cancel that one. We'll take the standing lamps and we'll take as much steel and components as possible home with us. It's a real shame that we can't take, you know, more than that, but, you know, that, that, that seems kind of fair seeing as we're carrying home an entire, you know, mortar turret. Right, world map. Sorry, my commentary is really shit today because I'm, like, kind of ill. I'm not doing too well. Dying, people. I'm, I'm dying. The series is cancelled. I'm dead. I'm actually dead as you're watching this. It's, it's, haunt it's a haunting experience for both of us. Um, right, there we go. Alright, three components, one cluster mortar, an extra colonist, and some other shit. That seems... We could leave that... Wait, can we leave the pemmican and just take food? Hang on, if we say no to that... Can we take more components? Do you want to trade all of our food for 12 components? I mean, no. 
But even if we take... Oh, man, we can still take 106 pounds. Let's just take, like, 80. How much food do we need? Um, not much, because we can also get forage. Right, let's go there. Choose route. Uh, 0 0.6. I mean, that's not much. We don't need that, because it's only going to take us, like, a couple of days. It's not even going to take us that to get home, is it? Estimate day is 0 0.8, so we need, like, what, like, 100 bits of pemmican? Yeah. We take 100 bits of pemmican. Oh, exactly 100 bits of pemmican. Then we take uh, all the components. What is worth it? Well, in terms of value, we probably want to take the go juice because it's got such high value. The uh, steel, I think, is good, but... I mean, the Eldritch insect jelly is apparently also worth a fair amount. We could take the... I kind of want to take the steel, you know? We can't really afford it. Oh, I'll just take the pemmican back. Fuck it. Take the pe take the pemmican. Take the uh, pe take the survival meals as well. All right, sweet. Good haul. We can also take some. Oh no, that's it. We're completely full of weight. Except, off we go, team. Let's leave. I thought I'd skip the half a day journey while they were getting home, seeing as it's pretty irrelevant. But they are now home. Oh, what is that? Oh, the mini quarry. I was like, what the fuck have they been building there? Man, they got a lot of work done while, they while we were away. The killbox is almost finished. The farms are doing pretty well as well. That's nice to see. Um, now if I'm not mistaken. When we were traveling home, there was a pop-up saying new lovers. Who was it between? Um, now, okay, we need to rename uh, L Sip to... What was it? Uh, oh, hang on. It was like uh, Smurt Chodley or something like that. Let me find it. Uh, Kevin Chode Smurtley Wellinger. Close enough. I I've heard that before. I think I think Perian Flax has said it at some point, which is where I've heard it. But it's a good name. Welcome. Welcome, Chode Smurtley, to the colony. Uh, what's your name? Like Kevin Chode Smurtley Wellinger. That's so good. What a name. So, old oh, Kevin from down the pub was recalling him Chode. <laughs> That's great. All right. So, what I was looking for before I got hideously distracted was that two of the colonists actually, like, love one another very deeply. Of course, it would be Chode, Smurtley, and Dave. <laughs> That's so good. Okay, so we want to give uh, Chode, Smurtley, and Dave a double bedroom. Just so they're not, you know, completely upset. Plus, it's also going to save us a bedroom so we can give someone else a bedroom, too. Let's deconstruct that one. Donuts, can I get you doing this, like, right now? Just to help speed things along. Um, build a copy of that one. I'm sure we've got enough wood kicking around. Yeah, we do. Right. Get that one done. Let's get a new bed down immediately. Good God, how long does it take? Christ. Okay, build that one up. Now, we need bamboo as soon as possible. So that obviously we can finish off this, this base. Because it looks like a piece of shit right now. So with you. Needs? Recreation deprived tide. I mean, you have been on the world's longest adventure. So that's understandable. We need to set Mason up as well. Oh, he's a chef. That's incredible. You are now our chef. Which is freeing up Donuts a little bit more. I love when we free up some of Donuts' schedule. Because that's... You know, he's, he's the keystone to this colony right now. Um, do, I don't really want him to negotiate. I'll have him warden instead of Donuts, though. That seems pretty good. You know what? We will have him negotiate because he's got a passion in it, too. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, you know what? We're looking pretty decent right now, to be fair. I think this is looking pretty good. In terms of schedules, we've got lots of different colonists doing a lots, of, uh, lots of different varied things. Why are you up so late? Go to bed. Oh, God. Artery blockage. Toxic buildup. You are, you are going to die in no time. I thought they were just having a sad wonder, but no, they are actually working. They're just working really, really slowly. Well, hey, the kill box is almost done, so every cloud. Right, Donuts, did you finish that bed, or did you ignore me? No, you actually did. Excellent. We're going to give this then to Dave, who doesn't have a bed. Uh, Dave, Sidini. No, 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 no. Who was it? It was like Dave and Chode Smurtley ha have a bed together. Dave, Chode Smurtley. Sidini has this one, so quite luxly has a bed. So all we need now is to give a bed to Mason, and the colony's all here. I kind of like keeping Mason and Donitz having their names as their names because those are the ones that have appeared through the series. It's got a little backstory. That, you know, they're these sort of men in black characters who have turned up to help, you know, rebuild Eagle's dream, and I like that. So you guys have earned your names. Congratulations. Um, everyone else has been named. That's so bad. Chode, Smirtley, and Dave is just... It's still getting me. So just like last series, if the chef hasn't got anything to do, I want him getting fish constantly because he doesn't have anything to do right now. So we might as well be bringing in food Along with, you know, cooking the damn food. So I feel like it's a pretty decent, uh... That's a pretty decent combo. I did really like that last series. It worked out really, really well for us. And apparently it's caught a massive freaking catfish. So clearly he's quite skilled at it. Right. The oven is now hooked up to power. Where it wasn't before. Because I'm an idiot. Um, what we want to do is probably get all these blocks hauled urgently as well out of the base. So let's get these gone. Um, what else have we got? we got, like, blocks kicking around in there. Uh, there's none of this in the actual building. But there's a lot nearby that we could definitely clear up too. Man, we've got so many just blocks everywhere. And what we put in furniture out of, do we want to make, like, limestone? Because we've got plenty of limestone kicking around. That'll look quite nice in a lab environment. But it's got plenty of marble. 
I think limestone would look nice because it's got that sort of more white sterile feel to it. So building like big old limestone walls and things. Um, let's go bills and then we're making granite blocks now. Let's cancel that, make limestone blocks and do until we've got like just 250. The only reason I'm doing this is because it's the quickest way to get rid of it. Plus we also gain something out of it, so why not, eh? Um, 400, pause when satisfied, unpause at 50. Drop on floor and let's go ahead, copy this one. And build... Oh shit, did I just copy that from the... Wait, why was that one paused? I have no idea. Okay, there we go. Problem solved. I've got really bad hiccups. I just can't win. I've got hiccups again. And I didn't even realize it, but apparently we've also feel finished geothermal power. Now, like I said, we are going to wait until we finished advanced geothermal power before I commit to building one plant or another. Because if the, ge the advanced geothermal power isn't much more expensive compared to the regular one, we might as well build the advanced one, right? Oh shit, you guys need recreation. I completely forgot to set your schedules back. My mistake. Um... They've just been up through the night working constantly. That's that's savage. Okay, there we go. You guys can go and do whatever you want now. They're set to anything, so they should be able to just go and, yeah, go and lie in bed for a bit. So we are getting some components out of the quarry. Now, the chance of getting components from the quarry is very, very low. Um, but, you know, it, it doesn't really make much sense. But neither does mining compacted machinery out of a mountain. You know, it's just for gameplay purposes. And seeing as we were on a map where there are literally no other components, I feel like it's kind of fair that we're getting resources from the quarry. You know, it's quite, kind of a nice way to stirb... To stirb? To curb that steep early game demand for uh, for resources that we just can't fulfill right now. So that's pretty good. That's, as far as I'm concerned, that's a nice little feature. Uh, kill box is done. Excellent. Nice to see. Let's get it slightly finished off in terms of the, the moat. And then we also want to build a roof over that as well. Otherwise, plants will just grow in the moat and provide them some sort of cover. Oh, we need to get these rocks out of here quite quickly as well. Let's go uh, select similar. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Thank you. We got limestone chunks. Select similar and get those hauled as well. Now, we probably also want to build up the actual inside wall to the kill box, too. We don't have to build up the whole thing, but just the outside wall, like I said, so that we've still got this like, little maze-style uh, structure there. Let's go ahead and draw a box around this. There we go. All right, that's going to look pretty good. I'll just go with that bit for now, like I said. That way, they'll be diverted down here. You know, it's still an open route. And as we go on, we'll try and make it a bit more sapper-proof by doubling up all the walls. We have to double up all the walls anyway. You know, there's no point doing it unless we can do all of it because, you know, we'll build all this up and then a sap will just say, okay, I'll just dig through, like, here, for example. Death. Frank Butcher. Wild Boar. Oh, my God. Really? I know it says animal starvation, but I thought it was... Why? Why are they not eating anything? There's, like... Normally, they would just eat, like, the small corn, but they're just not doing anything at all. Um, okay, reactivate the bro box. It's fucking filthy in here. Um, why... What's wrong with you friggin' idiot animals? Health? Malnutrition severe. Can they not move? No, they can move. Have I accidentally assigned to only being in the house? No. Wait, they haven't got a door. Maybe that's something to do with it. Huh. Very weird. Okay. Uh, let's not worry about it too much. Wait. No, because he was outside. Why are they just not eating? It's because there's no... No, there is grass. I have no idea. I honestly have no clue. It's... I mean, there's not much grass, but there is grass. Fuck them. You know what? Let them die. This is natural selection. This is Darwinism at work right there. Bobby B has died as well. What a shocker. Well, you know what? We can eat them. I mean, if they died of malnutrition, they probably haven't got much meat, right? But we'll still eat them either way. Uh, does Frank Butcher deserve a grave? I kind of feel bad giving Frank Butcher a grave if we're just going to turn Bobby B into like a fine meal. So, honestly, no, he's fine. Why is Mason not butchering these fish that he's capturing? We've got so many animals that need butchering. He's just not doing it. He's, he's fishing instead. Um, butchering is priority one above fishing. He has a butcher station. With butcher creature enabled. Oh, the ingredient range radius was too small because we had it close to the freezer in the last one. I see. Right, there we go. Okay. Well, that explains why we haven't been getting any fresh meals. What about this furniture? We should probably do something with all of it, right? So we don't have a heater in this room here. So we're going to go in and ahead and install that one there. Oh my god, I'm so glad we got this cluster more. So let's get this shit set up immediately. Um, where should we put it? Should we just put it like here? It doesn't really matter because it's a cluster mortar, right? They have such a ridiculous range. You know what? It would be better to build it closer to the kill box just so that... Just so that it can hit people coming through the maze. I feel like that's a good idea. Right, put that there. Um, let's extend this wire. We only need to expand it one block more anyway. So we'll just put that there as well. Um, man, we've got so much furniture kicking around as well. I need to go through this very quickly and just sort of reinstall everything, I think. A group of outlanders from Ted Lone and Man's Confederacy have arrived. There's, oh my fucking, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. And we've got four people that can use weapons. Bearing in mind that two of them are brawlers and one of them's a pacifist. And the best part is, uh, the walls aren't going to matter because they're just going to walk around it. Right, okay. Oh my god, this thing's already gone fucking nuts though. Right, how the hell am I going to fight this off? What am I going to do here? Uh... 
They've come in from there. I have a feeling half of them are going to go this way, half of them are going to go this way. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our boys. These are the ones with guns, right? Mason, do you have a gun? He does, but he has a pistol. Go and get that shotgun. Get that shotgun. You three head to... Head to here, because I imagine the bulk of them are going to go around there just because of the pathfinding. Let's get our brawlers, who I assume all have weapons. Uh, Dave does not have a weapon. Dave, go grab yourself... I mean, it's Dave. He's probably got a fucking, you know, beer glass or whatever he can smash on the bar. Um... Grab a knife. Grab a high-grade steel knife. We don't have any other melee weapons, do we? Nope. This is going to be a mess. I'm warning you now. Prepare to prepare to see some people die. Our people, because this is not going to go well. So, because we've got this turret, right? Our wealth, I imagine, has shot up very, very quickly. Um, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to look at history. I press this one every single time. Um, yeah. Basically, our wealth has shot up overnight. So that means that the game is now sending harder raiders after us, which we're just completely unprepared for, seeing as we have three colonists who are basically incapable of any sort of combat whatsoever. Um, we do have the turret, though. Oh. Thank God there was a solar flare, eh? Because I don't didn't want to fucking fight that thing. Okay, they've all come this way, which is great. Uh, Mason, get out of here, for fuck's sake. Right, we're just going to build a firing squad line. I mean, it's also not that good, because it did miss all of them. They're more or less standing still. No, you don't. Uh, excuse me? Chemical fascination. Fuck me, I wouldn't have picked up the goju's if I didn't know that. Dave, go pick this up. Thanks, pal. Right, get out of here. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I, hate, I hate it when they have their, their chemical fascination breakdowns. Good God. <laughs> that turret is so good. My Lord. Okay. Uh, who are we waiting for? Quite large. Oh, God. no, no, no. They're still up there because I thought that some might even go the other way. But apparently they're all fuck. You're still going to carry on with this raid, huh? Hello. Welcome to Flavor Town. Goodbye. Thank you for visiting Flavor Town. Oh, my God. Well, one's alive. Uh, bio? Are you any good? Medical 10. Hate skilled labor and hauling. Oh, my friend. You are fit for the meat grinder. Hunt him down as well. I, I'm, I've got bloody vengeance on the mine right now. Kill him dead. Get out. Don't ever turn up to my base again. I'm, I don't want to fight you people. You're the ones bringing it on yourselves. Animals 17.49. What? Oh my god, this guy's pretty good as well. Maxim Slick Dyer. Enemy town guard. Of okay, you're pretty good. You've got a lot of passions here and there. Um, Glitter World Surgeon. Right, that's why they're medicine solo, because they're a Glitter World Surgeon where there's basically no, you know, no need for it. Man, you are incredibly good. Psychically sensitive and sanguine. Sanguine is obviously very good as well. We need you. We actually need this person. Bleeding out in nine hours. That You are more than savable in that case, my friend. Let's go, uh, furniture. Of course, the sleeping spot is furniture. You know what? I'm going to save both of them. At least I'm going to try and save both of them. Let's go medical. Uh, untick that. Donuts rescue Leal. And... Oh, fuck. Seriously? Oh, man. They've got to be fucking prisoner beds, haven't they? God damn it. I hate this game sometimes, and this is why. Fine. That's for prisoners. Now, sorry, guys. You've just lost your bed. Uh, Donuts. Capture. What about Mad Dog? Mad Dog I don't care about. Mad Dog is, is fit for the cooler as far as I'm concerned. Who else have we got? Um, basically, I want someone with high medical skills so that when we get them into the bed, we can immediately start patching them up. Um, you have pretty good medical skill. Uh, largely. Right? Um, medical is 10. That's fine. Right, capture him. Good. Good work, team. We got some more guns, which nobody can use besides three fucking people. Oh, sorry, four people. Four out of seven. That's so bad. It means when we get these large raids, normally it would be a fair fight, you know? Seven people with varying guns versus a raid that big would have been fine. When it's, you know, four people and three brawlers who basically have sticks, it's not great. Where's the other one gone? Did he just fucking die? Uh, excuse me? Yeah, but why, where's, the, where's the other one gone, though? Chode Smurley, what the fuck are you doing, you weird man? Oh, gathering... Right, okay, I just thought they were standing in that base like a creepy boy. Um, where did the other one go? Did they die on the way over here? I can't see them anywhere. Somebody in the comments is gonna spot and I'm gonna feel... Oh, right, is that them there? No. I don't fuck knows where they've gone. Oh, well. I don't care. It doesn't matter too much. This is the only one I was interested in because of the 17 animals. Uh, Donuts, did you just seriously run off without patching them up? What the hell is wrong with you? Uh, oh, wait. We didn't even capture them properly. Can I finish them off? No, no. Tend to them. I don't want to strip them. I want you to tend to them, you weird man. Doctor care. Right. Is this because it's not a medical bed? Is that seriously it? Oh, my God. No, it's still not. Somebody else must be doing it then. I can only assume that's the problem. Wild boar self-tamed. Oh, great. In memoriam. Why is no one... Why? Health? 
Oh, you've already been tended to. I see. Right. Okay, we, we apparently tended to them and just left, left them lying on the bed without tucking them in. Sure, why not? Okay. Um, Dave doesn't have a bed. Neither does Chode Smurly. But honestly, I mean, this person's so good, I could not say recruit them. Um, Same about the other guy, though. That, that, that guy would have been a pretty decent all-round character. This has been a stressful episode. This has been like a stressful episode. I've just been trying to like organize the space as quickly as possible before shit like that happened. Thank God we had that turret. Otherwise, I think we'd have been absolutely shredded. I think we'd have been destroyed in that raid if it wasn't for this thing. Man, I'm, so, I'm that was that was a really really lucky get. All right, mad scientist trainer. Let's see what they've got because they might have a single component. Please, nope, they don't. They have a cougar <laughs> because they would have cougar and some gold. Yeah, of course they would. Why not? Oh, they didn't know. They they just have a cougar and some chem fuel. Good. Um. I don't even want to buy anything of theirs. They're all crap. What about the pirate merchant? Maybe they have some advanced components. We could sell them. Oh, we could buy Stumpy, a geologist. Are they any good? Mining. Very good. Understandably, they're a geologist. Striker. Good at social. Not too interesting, that, I'll be honest with you. Simple animal spine. By God, what a weird things to sell. Um, it's really it. We don't have any medicine, apparently. Might also be because there's none near a trade beacon. No, we just straight up. Oh, we have seven medicine. What is that? Just seven regular medicine. That's not ideal. Thank you all for watching. A, a somewhat weird episode today. We saved a man. The base is looking kind of nice. I will admit it's looking much nicer than it did last time. I suppose all that's left is to start working on the lab, right? And actually, you know, begin building our cloning facilities and, and starting on the genetic research stuff. I mean, we're, we're, we're almost to that stage. We need to get fabrication, really, just so we can build up the components. And then besides that, I think we're good. Shout out to my insane top tier level patrons. Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Halting, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Jackson Woodman, Escape, Croesus, James Ogilvy, Paul, Conspired Scene, Necrophilum, Michael Mullen, Haydog, Orcs Wolf, Josh Lennon, Dean Tesla, Logan Thorne, Average Gamer 419, and I'm the Lizard King. For the support, the insane tier levels on Patreon. Thank you for your support. And as well to Nathaniel Lindbergh, Fecundo Vasquez, Felix Deal, Quet Latchley, Brandon Mintoniak, Polemaster, Evergreen's Waifu, Quasar Fox, Chris, Joseph Beer, Sir Thor the Swede, Nick, Sardini, Asro, Jack Allen, Euphrates, Jordan Campbell, Yohan DeVries, Don Connie217, Nathan Flores, and many, many others. Thank you as well.